Ladies and gentlemen, earlier today, members of the New South Wales Joint Counterterrorism Team, comprising members of the Australian Federal Police and the New South Wales Police Force, arrested an 18-year-old Macquarie Park male for two offences, one allegedly planning a terrorism attack and the second one of preparation for foreign incursions. We will allege that this individual was looking at possible sites in Sydney to undertake a terrorist attack and was making arrangements to acquire a firearm. This arrest today again highlights the importance of our disruption strategies and our number one priority is the safety of the community and that has meant with the changed environment that they're now working in that we have to change our approaches and we've seen since Appleby that this is the approach that we are using to make sure we keep people safe. We've used it to good success and we've had some good results. So as of now there have been nine imminent attacks prevented and today's arrest is one of those attacks that we have prevented. Today's activity highlights the effectiveness of the joint counterterrorism relationships and their co cooperative nature across the country. We have taken swift action to ensure the safety of the community and we are satisfied that any threat to the community posed by this individual has been mitigated. It's up to all of us to work together, particularly the mums and the dads, the brothers and the sisters, the friends and the colleagues, just to watch for those signs. There is always a sign when people are behaving differently and on their path to radicalisation. Our job, the police, is to stop that radicalisation becoming uh, an act of terror. But it's up to us all to work together to stop it from happening in the first place. And again, we have seen it. So I do urge anybody who has any concerns or information that will help uh, to get onto the National Security Hotline, but more importantly, just to be observant and keep your eyes open and watch out for those signs because we can do something about it. But the problem is at the moment, we're still seeing it happening. Thank you.